Now, you might have seen before, I came up here before you, me drawing a portrait. I might have even drawn you. Because I just sketch whatever I see in front of me or create it from my head because illustration is fun to me. Fundamentally integral part of my personality. I'm dispelling banality by retelling reality. I make lines of ink, unwind and think, and I could make a picture for a thousand words that rhyme and sync. But then I thought, why don't I try and combine the two? Draw a picture of the room while I'm rhyming too. That's what I'm doing. I'm just sketching everybody in the space, all the faces and races, people from different places, each with their own unique story to tell. The history a mystery to me and everybody else. My passion is catching the essence of our identity, immortalizing moments in time and what they meant to me. See, I've been sketching every day of my life, maybe delirious, but I could draw before I could walk. I'm fully serious. I didn't walk until I was two. My parents took me to a doctor, but he didn't have a clue what was stopping me. I guess I just wasn't very interested in moving, just drawing what I saw and more. I tried to improve my station in life. Through patience to strive, I started as a hobby, now my job preoccupation and wife. She's a cruel mistress, but I love her like my own kin. The paper that I draw on is as precious as my own skin. Every sketch I make is like a child to me. The thought of never drawing seems wild to me, because it's the only way I cope with the world that I'm faced with. And all the time I'm not making art, feel like I'm wasting away every day, every hour, every minute. It's a gift from the gods, or good odds if you're a cynic. Not that I'm religious, I'm an orthodox agnostic. I had a rule book, and then I purposely lost it. But I digress, because I'm pressed, and I'm dragging this out, so I should probably get back to what I'm talking about. Of artistic advice, the most sound that I've found, keep your head in the clouds and your feet on the ground. I might be tall, but not tall enough for that shit, passing with the clouds, so I might appear batshit, crazy, or lazy, <laughs> away with the fairies. I'm a space cadet, every day with a fairly vacant look, a paper book, a cup of tea, making portraits or characters for puppetry. Because illustration has endless possibilities, not just a bit of fun, I feel it's my responsibility to make a mark, make some art. I might never make it far, but I can make a start. And I'm doing it live right here, drawing a crowd, combining art and poetry, it's what I'm about. I'm trying to memorise lines, it's a lyrical challenge, but drawing at the same time, that's empirical balance. <laughs> now, I don't freestyle, these lines I wrote earlier, because this open mic night is no worthy, and of all nights, this one I'd rate the best. Now I will blow you away like a paper dress. <laughs> but wait a sec, that's a different rap that I've written, or am I just mixing it in with the rhythm that I've written? And I'm gonna drop names like a fan might do. Big up Jimmy, not James, and the man like Chew. Ew. And while we're dropping names, Chew helped Batman to begin. He don't need protection. He needs protection for them. Go on, Spider. Now, I'm nearly done. Just need a little time for finessing. It's hardly my finest work, so forgive me if it's messy, but you've all been part of an art unseen straight from my heart. I impart this scene to you. I hope you like it. Either way, it's been fun. So thanks again. You've all been wonderful. Done. Yeah! Thank you very much.